So Apple just released macOS Big Sur 11.3, and there's one kind of hidden thing in here that you can actually access. So there is a new Hello wallpaper, which obviously is to do with the latest Apple event, but it's also for the new iMacs. So most Macs are obviously not going to be able to have this wallpaper, and I know that mine is one of them. So it's actually already in the system, but it doesn't show up in your system preferences under the screensaver. So I'm going to show you today how you can install it into your system preferences. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head into your Macintosh HD. And once you do that, you then want to go into your system folder. And then we can go into the library folder. Now once you do that, you're going to see all these different uh, folders here, but what you want to do, it should be in alphabetical order, and you can scroll down to where the S section is, and you should see a folder titled Screensavers. So what you want to do is head into there, and when you get into this folder, you're going to see the actual files for the, all the screensavers on your Mac. And you notice right here that we have a hello.saver. So this is actually the new screensaver file right here. So what we need to do is actually make a copy of this file and then install it into the system preferences. So what I'm going to do is select it and I can just hit command C. You could right click it and click copy if you wanted to. And then you want to go to your desktop and I'm just going to hit command V or you could right click and hit paste item. So now we have a copy of this screensaver file on our desktop. We can go ahead and get out of that finder window. We're not going to need that anymore. Now what we want to do is we want to change the name of this to hello copy. So that way we can actually know that this is the copied one. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and double click on it. Now you're probably going to get a pop up that says, uh, would you like to install this screensaver? Obviously mine looks a little different because I already have it installed, but you should get that pop up and you just want to hit OK and then it's going to ask you to authenticate either with your password or if you have Touch ID on your computer you can do that and it will install the screensaver for you. So once you have that installed you just want to navigate over to your desktop and screensaver settings. You scroll in the very bottom here and you should see hello down here in the bottom right corner. So this is the new screensaver, it's completely installed for you now. So what you can do is on your desktop, you can actually delete uh, this file. You no longer need it, and you can even empty the trash. It won't uh, affect anything because, well, it's already installed. So now what we can do is we can set this as our screensaver. So you have all your normal screensaver options, and if you take a look here, these are the specific options for this new screensaver so there are different themes that you can choose so you have soft tones, soft tones, spectrum, and minimal and you can also have hello show in all languages and you can choose to match your system appearance so the settings I like to do is the all and match system appearance and you can show with the clock if you want to but here's what the screensaver looks like so it just kind of cycles through a different colors and it just writes the word hello on your screen now it's pretty nice I actually kind of like it it's definitely something different uh, it is lagging just a tad because I'm screen recording but that's okay and if you have multiple displays uh, like I do it'll actually be a completely different color on your other display and you can even see there's the new uh, purple on honor of that purple iPhone coming out so yeah, that is uh, the new Hello Screensaver and how you can install it here on your Mac. Let me know in the comments below what you really think about this screensaver. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.